Hello, today we'll be taking a geologic tour of the Quebradas backcountry byway. We'll be making several stops, hiking in short distances in some locations, and pointing out a few of the geologic features. Looks like it's a nice day today, a little bit chilly. The Quebradas backcountry byway traverses the desert landscape east of Socorro, New Mexico. The geologic information in this video comes from this pamphlet. If you want more information about geology, see the link below. We're hiking down the hill from stop number one. We're going to go take a look at the spring down here and the limestone ridges behind me. The red color of these rocks results from the presence of small amounts of iron in the form of hematite. Here you can see a thick, lens-shaped sand body surrounded by darker red shales. The sand body is the filling of a Permian River channel. The shell represents overbank or floodplain deposits. The small circular white spots, known as reduction spots, that are common in these strata show what the rock looks like where it is not as strongly oxidized, probably because of the presence of organic matter. The bedding surfaces of many of the sandstones have ripple marks. Stop four. We'll go down into the arroyo and see what we can find. The Meseta Blanca member is one of the most distinctive units in the Quebradas. The outcrop show distinct bands of orange red and white siltstones and shales that may reflect Permian climate cycles. The white 
calcareous silty shells once contained extensive halite or sodium chloride, as revealed by the presence of abundant casts of former crystals, which are now dissolved, leaving behind sediment-filled crystal outlines. Folding has rotated these sandstone beds to a vertical orientation, producing what is often called tombstone topography. Stop 5, we're looking down Arroyo del Tahoe. On the right-hand side, you can see the grayish and reddish bands of the Meseta Blanca member. Behind that, the red, Abo red beds. And then up on the ridge, you can see the limestones that are standing upright. We'll be hiking down Arroyo del Tahoe and taking a closer look down there. These rocks were folded and thrust faulted during the Laramide orogeny in the early tertiary and are now standing nearly on end. The vertical beds have been eroded so that the hard, erosion-resistant limestone units are standing out in relief. Stop 7, we'll hike into Arroyo de las Cañas to look at exposures of the Cañas gypsum member of the Yeso formation. In most climates, gypsum is removed through dissolution by near-surface groundwater. In the warm, dry climate of New Mexico, however, gypsum can reach the surface and survive there for some time. The gypsum displays a number of distinctive fabrics, especially laminations of alternating dark and light layers. The dark layers consist of limestone and organic matter. The light layers contain mainly gypsum. Such repeated cycles are interpreted as representing VARs, annual cycles with dry season evaporation producing gypsum and cooler, wetter seasons yielding organic limestone layers. Thank you. 